oh hello <laughs> I'm coming to you barefaced um I need to get ready today uh, and put some makeup on I usually do most days uh, it's a rare day that I don't and when I don't it's usually because I'm not feeling well and after that video that I posted um, where I showed you my grocery haul and going to get groceries it mentioned in there that I was getting sick and boy after I stopped filming that day like I just literally started to tank and for the past couple days I have been really feeling it um, this morning I finally feel like I've turned a corner uh, I still have a really rattly cough and some wheezing um, and my body is just angry with me. I get um, viral rashes when I'm sick and this one is particularly bad. I've even got it on my wrist which never happens but I just am covered in a rash and my body is just saying hey there's a problem here um i have to go out today i need to go to the library and return some books and pick up some books um things are overdue so i do have to go out in public so i am going to put on some makeup and try and cover the stuff that's going on i think the uh, camera is washing it out a bit to be perfectly honest because in person i look like a freak show um but all that to say I wanted to share just a couple of makeup things give you a little before of a little crazy and um, share just a couple makeup products that I really really love um, I uh, I used to really have a lot of shame I think about the fact that I loved makeup and wore it all of the time um, and I liked a full coverage foundation um, but I don't feel that way any longer. I, I love getting ready. It's like self-care for me. Like as you can see, I'm sitting on my bed. I use this time to watch YouTube videos, um, some for entertainment and others for educational purposes, like building me up emotionally and all that jazz mentally. Um, yeah, I just, this is like my self-care time. Jack is sleeping and... Um, I've done my skincare. I'm going to show you a couple skincare things and uh, we're going to get ready. So here we go. Okay, so you have probably seen people talk about this the snail mucin. Uh, this stuff is amazing. It really makes your skin feel incredible. I got mine at Walmart. Um, and a pea sized amount, which is just like one pump, will cover your entire face. I've had this for a couple months now and you can see just how much. I have not used because a little goes such a long way and it really does make your skin feel incredible I also use the ordinary uh, hyaluronic acid you are not focusing there we go and I really enjoy this product too again a little of this goes a really long way one of these bottles will last me a couple of months and I still have mm, about a quarter of it left to go but I really enjoy this. And then as I've aged, my skin has went from oily to dry. And I have always actually enjoyed using oil as my moisturizer. But I find it even more important now, now that my skin is thirsty for moisture. Um, and so this is the Ordinary Bee Oil. Uh, I don't think there's anything particularly that fantastic about it, to be perfectly honest. I think jojoba oil is actually really incredible this is just another affordable option after this actually I'll probably just use jojoba oil I've used that in the past and love the results so anyways but this is still really good um, I've purchased this a couple of times and I'm not mad about it so I want to share with you a couple of makeup products that I absolutely love a couple that you will never ever ever see me without um, this is my current foundation right now. This is the Maybelline 30 Hour Wear Foundation. If you have ever used uh, L'Oreal Double Wear, this is such a dupe for that. This stuff, like, <laughs> it covers everything and it really lasts. 
Um, I have hyperpigmentation in my skin. I have scarring. I have large pores. I do not have beautiful skin. And no matter how much I try and work on it and um, make it lovely, it just is what it is. I, these are just my genes. And I do my best with what I have, but I am not someone who runs around a lot without makeup on because my skin just is not pretty. <laughs> So um, I love a full coverage foundation and this is amazing. So love that. Um, and then to set, I use the Maybelline Fit Me powder. I cannot live without this powder. This is my ride or die. I've probably been through millions of these. <laughs> I know that's such an exaggeration. I've been using this for years. Um, I actually, this is for normal to oily skin. They did have one that was for dry skin and it had a more of a luminescence to it. At the time, I didn't like it because I did have very oily skin and I wanted to be mattified. I can never find that dry powder again. And if I could, that's probably what I would use now because again, like I said, my skin is more on the dry side, but this is incredible for setting under my eyes, around my nose, in my T-zone. And as my skin has gotten more dry, um, I'm just really setting in the T-zone and a bit on my cheeks uh, just to set because this foundation really, um, it dries down so well and holds to my skin that I don't need to powder my whole face like I used to have to do. And lastly, I will never be without the Morphe setting mist. I ran out of this for a little bit and I had used uh, the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush setting spray. Sorry, I have to cough. I got this from Sephora as a birthday gift. So this was free and I was excited to try it out and I was, I found nothing amazing about this. Um, nothing better than what I can get in this bottle that is so much cheaper. This makes your makeup look like skin. It just makes powder look skin-like. It sets everything. It makes your skin just look so beautiful. Um, I've used other setting sprays as well, and I just never like anything as good as I like the Morphe continuous mist setting spray and this lasts a long time so this is like a little travel bottle I got this one at Target when we were in the States because I had run out of this and needed some setting spray um, and so I got this it was not any cheaper than what I can get it at in Canada so this was $12 and I can get a bottle of the full size for 16 here so I just got this small one because um, it wasn't any big significant savings, but I needed it in my life. This is so good. And actually, while we're talking, I'll share with you one other ride or die favorite. This is the Wet n Wild Precious Petals um, Highlighter. And this is what I use for 99% of my highlighting. I've had this palette for two, three years, um, and I use it every single day. I've literally hit pan but it is beautiful I've seen beauty influencers talk about this um, this and this is what that's why oh my gosh my mind I cannot talk I have seen beauty influencers you know the ones with like millions of subscribers review wet and wild and talk about the precious petals highlighter and so because I am on a budget I got it and I've went through um, this is my second one but but literally I have been using these for several years now um, it is just so pretty it gives the most lovely glow I I absolutely love it and it's just a few bucks so and it lasts forever wet and wild is one of those unsung brands that I think people now realize how good it is but it is really good their foundation also is really incredible sorry I'm coughing um, not the dewy one but the one that is mattifying I can't remember what it's called but the dewy one is not great from what I've heard I would never get it but the oily one the one meant for oily skin gives a flawless beautiful beautiful finish um, and I highly recommend it so anyways those are a few makeup finds that are my faves well, I am dressed and ready for the day. 
did my hair, my makeup, feeling more like a person still with a bit of my congestion. Um, you can kind of see that foundation covered a lot of the red. Obviously, I'm still... But I was going to film today for my other channel, Little and Loved Stories, but I'm sounding a bit too congested, and I also um, realized I probably didn't want to have any of this uh, on that channel. So I'm kind of bummed I have the time to film, but that'll go for another day. So I think I'm just going to kind of tidy up my room and um, get things going. Maple is here. Jack is still sleeping and I got to figure some things out. So I'm sitting at my desk. I thought I'd do a quick little desk tour. Um, this is actually where I used to have Jack's crib, but I decided to just co-sleep with him for a number of reasons. Um, I tried getting him to transition to a crib and it just it wasn't going great and I just love sleeping with him so instead I put my desk here and when I closed out my office at the church um, I brought home my bookcases and I've got this all set up my closet is a mess <laughs> um, but I thought I would just show you really quickly some of what's in my drawers I love to see this kind of thing um, with other people so thought I'd show you what's in here these drawers are really deep they actually go back a bit further than what even pulls out but here I've got all my sticky notes um, I love these ones from Erin Condren I have a couple of these sticky note pads uh, this is just like a macaron little container I guess you could put pills in there it opens up my pink paper clips I've got some of these little mini clipboards these are also sticky notes um, this is I purchased these way back in my scrapbooking days but I think they're so cute um, this is these are push pins and this is obviously looks like a donut and those are sprinkles and then I've got this little case where I can stick cords and other little tech things to easily access I got these little containers I've got stamps and these have binder clips and paper clips as well these are like thumbtacks a uh, little Bluetooth speaker and I've got this little pineapple dish with all of these um, Disney stickers in them and then these little jars here cord keepers and these are um, uh, paper clip type things that I got from Target many years ago these are all of my little bookmarks lots of Disney things um, I hesitate using some of them because they like I love that so much um, I have actually used them quite a bit before but because they stick out of your planner or I had used them in my um, my Filofax wallet for a while they get knocked around and I don't want to lose them so for now they're just in this little container where I can just look at them a little Bath and Body Works candle and some washi tape so that's that drawer and then this one has uh, my discs for Happy Planner stuff. I got myself an Arc Punch, and I love it. Um, but I have a tr I have trouble finding covers for Happy Planners. I love the system. I love it so much, but um, I just haven't had dur stir durable covers that will work. So, anyways, I just got some of those discs in there and then these are some more Disney little um, things I don't know if you can see here on my shelf let me try and zoom in Steamboat Willie is my favorite and I've got these little metal figurines and those are um, some other ones that belong with the set but I'm not using them right now. I've also got more sticky notes. These are an Emily Lay thing. These were an OG sort of thing. As you can see, it's kind of falling apart. She revamped this whole sticky note thingy. Um, but I've got that there. And then these are all extra pens. These are more pens and markers and things of that nature. Three-hole punch stapler, and this holds papers upright. 
so like when you're typing and then this has extra um, portfolio pad folios I guess they're called they hold a pad of notebook paper lots of um, notepads and things like that and these are some notebooks that are already filled out with like specific stuff and then a few more notebooky things I love notebooks and paper this binder or this box holds um, things that I want to file away like keepsake sort of stuff that I haven't yet got to this is an old pair of glasses I'd like to donate those to a cause of some sort but um, I haven't found any that are taking eyeglasses yet so I'm just hanging on to them and then back there I've got extra planning supplies like stickers and things that go in my planner. and then th then down here are all of my cultivate cultivate what matters goal planners I've bought many many over the years including before they were actually even coil bound they came as just like a pack of papers and I've been buying them from the very beginning I've got more notebooks that have special stuff in them and uh, a couple more notebooks because that's, that is how I roll I never really finished fully setting it up I'm watching to catch a smuggler on Disney Plus favorite show uh, I never really finished setting this up very well uh, but I've got my Cricut on top and then I have a calendar this is the Emily Lay calendar for Target it's like erasable um, I filled it out for February but never went beyond that uh, I got my printer here and some trays I got this really cute little bag uh, from Amazon and in it I when we traveled I put all of my tech stuff like my cords and everything in there I've got a Scentsy warmer this is for my camera and then I have this dry erase board here and this was gonna go up here but I'm not really using it so I don't know I may get rid of it and then beside my desk that is clean diaper on top uh, for Jack for tonight but I've got all of my books that I'm reading for little and loved stories so when I said I have to go to the library I have to return all of the books here except the one in the front that's one I own but all of the books on that cart need to go back to the library today I made myself that lentil soup that I talked about in my meal plan this looks like mush like it looks so terrible uh, but it is so stinking delicious. I can't wait to make this again. Um, I had this yesterday for breakfast slash lunch as well as dinner because I've been sick and that's all I wanted to eat. I'd added some chicken to it to make it to bulk it up a bit. Um, it has been so delicious. So I'm going to have more for my lunch. Um, I'm also going to add some, even though there's some chicken in here, there's not a whole lot. Uh, so I'm going to have some chicken. I think I'll give some of this to Jack as well. And we'll get some fruit for him, probably some veggies. I'll probably have some veggies too. Um, that's lunch. It looks completely unappetizing. These are red lentils. It looks like mush. But it's so good. Can you hear Miss Rachel in the background? Any other toddler moms relate? <laughs> um, I'm trying to get a good camera angle and it is tough. I'm trying to figure out tripods and all the things. I've literally got you propped up on my soup box with a little mini tripod and this is not working very well. Without cutting my whole head off. Ugh. Oh well. Um, so this is not working very well so big news we are moving um, this was not what I thought would be happening with our life right now um, but it's kind of necessary at this point after no longer working at my church job um, life is just way too expensive and we are looking to save for our next big permanent move. Uh, so we are packing up. This is officially the last month that we will be in our townhouse. And we are going to move in with my in-laws for a little while. While we save money and prepare for 
the next stage of our journey. So we have some thoughts and plans on what that's gonna look like, but until that actually unfolds, I'm just gonna kind of hold that close to here. But um, yeah, we're moving. Um, I've known about it for a little while. I had to give two months, you give two months notice here. Um, so this is officially the last month uh, that we'll be in our townhouse. So now comes the big packing up situation which I'm not a fan of. Who is? Like, who likes to pack? I don't know. I, I am not that person. Tearing down and dismantling your whole life? Not me. It's been weird for me to think about restarting my channel and not living here because a lot of my life revolves around uh, cooking and systems and mom life stuff. Um, things that would be different in a home that's not my own and our life is gonna look really different and I've thought do I even start my channel because who I am as a person let me rephrase that what I love to do is going to be kind of put on hold I'll certainly help in any way that I can to make dinners and, and um, all of that like at my at my in-laws um, but they certainly have their own life and their own home and their own way of doing things and we do not want to disrupt any of that they're so incredible and so gracious to allow us to stay with them for a little bit while we get our feet underneath of us um, so yeah so I really question do I restart my channel with this move happening um, what will I even share and to be perfectly honest I'm not 100% sure what that is going to look like, but I figured let's just turn on the camera and see where life goes. Eventually, I will love to come back and look at this time in my life um, and see how far I've come and where life has taken me and to have that kind of documented. My little man is, is now here in his blankets at my feet. Um, so yeah, um, I also got a new job. It has been difficult to find a new job. I have applied to a lot of places, all kinds of different jobs. Um, and this was a connection that I had made. Uh, actually, come to find out she would found me on YouTube, used to watch my channel, and then we became friends on Instagram. She lives locally, and we became friends, and she works at um, a local store, and uh, I was able to, get on there. I went for my interview and um, we'll give it like a month trial to just make sure that everything works for me as well as for them. Um, they're really looking for a days person and that's actually the hardest shift for me uh, because I don't have care for Jack. I I will with the amount of hours that I'm working. I think it'll, it's all going to work out good. But um, Daycare is extremely expensive here, and it's darn near impossible to get into city-run daycares where they actually can um, be cheap. It's like $10 a day, I think, is is um, what the government has set forth. Or if not, it's if it's not $10, which I don't know if that's enacted right now or what, but um, it is significantly cheaper than private daycare, which is between $45 and $50 a day. Um, and to work full time and then have to pay a daycare bill on top of that. It's like a lot of money. <laughs> so it's it's a struggle. It really is a struggle. And so I'm just trying to figure figure this all out. Um, and we're trying to figure it out as a family what it looks like for us and in light of the potential plans that we have for the future. So I know that's a lot of vague speak, but um, really good things are happening. Um, and this is just temporary, temporary thing. So anyways, uh, we're gonna be packing up, y'all. We're gonna be packing up and, and moving and I'm really dreading it. So you're gonna come along with me as motivation and moral support as uh, we pack up this place and get rid of all kinds of things, which is hard because we've already done a move. Like we will have been here for almost two years, just shy of two years. I moved with my first official day was July 1st and today is May 1st. So um, 
I've already done a lot of purging. I have a huge pile in my basement of things to get rid of as it is. Um, so it'll be difficult, but all absolutely necessary. And then just in general, paring down our life to go live um, at my in-laws. So yeah, that's, that's our big news. So I think my soup is done. I'm gonna get us some lunch. Hello. So yeah, I've got a bench in my kitchen. I've been trying to sell this thing on Facebook Marketplace for quite some time. I've gotten tons of messages about it, but when I send the dimensions, that's when people sort of check out of the conversation. Um, so it's been a bit of a catch-all for us, which has kind of been handy to hold things. Um, and my little Jack man, he loves to drag blankets all around the house. So he's right here at my feet. So I've got um, some sweet potatoes cubed up here for dinner. Um, I actually have a couple more here cut up uh, for later. I'm not going to put them on the pan because if I do, the pan will be way overcrowded and it'll actually steam rather than roast. And I only have one large baking pan. We're going to do chicken tonight. Um, and I have like a quarter sheet pan. Sorry, Jack is just right here. Um, I have a quarter sheet pan, but I'm going to put the chicken on that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some coconut oil to this, a little bit of salt and pepper, um, maybe some cinnamon. I'm not totally sure, but definitely coconut oil to make it a little bit sweet. Always with the little hands. Right here helping mom, huh? Hello. Hey, them cheeks. Hello. Yeah. Okay. You guys, we were eating dinner, and Maple comes along, and she diarrheas right next to the table. It was so awful. No one could finish their meal. It was done. Dinner was dinner was over with. It was terrible. My house stinks so bad right now, like Clorox wipes, like lemon Clorox wipes, and dog do. It was terrible. So the kids went outside to play. Maple's in the backyard. And I am here going to clean up the kitchen for the night. So this is what my evening is looking like. I've got a lot of stuff here on my counter. My bag, my water, my phone. The crock pot needs put away. I've got my laptop out. I'm watching a show. It's called To Catch a Smuggler. It is so good. It is on Disney Plus. It is one of my favorite shows and a couple new seasons uploaded recently. So I'm watching that, um, my dinner, some dishes. I ended up cooking up the ground beef that I had um, purchased over the weekend. 
Uh, so some of this will be for burritos for tomorrow, burrito bowls, and the rest I'll probably just put in the freezer for a later date. So tomorrow I'll just season it up with taco seasoning and reheat it. So side note, when I do this, I always undercook the ground beef just a smidge because I always will have to reheat something. Um, I mean, everyone does anyways. But what I mean is I don't have a microwave, so it has to go on the stove to reheat. So I always undercook it just slightly um, because we're never just going to eat cold ground beef. And what I do is I strain the fat all out. I put it in this strainer and then just let the fat drain and then I'll take care of that later. Got some dishes done. These are the leftover sweet potatoes from earlier. Um, got some chicken to put away and then my sweet potatoes will be coming out in two minutes. Oh, there, make that one minute. So anyways, Jack has been here. We've got toys on the floor. The house is in chaos. This is just our nightly routine. So I'm gonna go ahead and get everything cleaned up um, so that we can start with a fresh slate tomorrow. Okay, so I've got things packed up for the night. So these are the sweet potatoes. This is the ground beef that is going to go in the freezer. And this will go into the fridge for tomorrow. This is the ground beef. And this is my chicken that I didn't finish for dinner, so I'll probably have that for lunch tomorrow. And then this is the chicken that I had cooked extra, so that will go in the fridge. Um, I'm almost, I'm, I actually am done with the dishes, but I've got my sink of water still in case I come across something. This bowl has all the grease in it, but we used a lot of the paper towels for the maple mess, um, and I don't have them here right now, and because they were used for her mess, I just wanna use new paper towels. A whole new roll. Um, so that's just gonna stay there, I think, for tonight. So Shane dropped off some uh, meat the other day from Costco, which was unexpected and super exciting. He brought Jack milk um, and he picked up some ground beef and um, sausages for us. So what I'm gonna do is because I have peppers, I'm going to put together this recipe really quick and throw it in my freezer. Um, this recipe is so amazing. I'm going to try and link it down below. But this is for sausage and peppers, and it is so good. I've made this meal for a friend. Um, I can't remember the reason why. She had something going on in her life, and I made them a meal. And this is what I made, and she absolutely loved it. So more than one person has agreed that this is a really good meal. So I like to prepare this and put this in the freezer. And then on, you know, the day before I pull it out, it thaws, and then you just bake it in the oven. It's really great. So I'm going to put this together. Um, here are the sausages right here. So it's a big old Costco size pack. So I think I can do two of the freezer meals because it calls for six sausages. Um, and I've got all of those peppers that are all cut up in my in my fridge and I need to use them so I'm gonna make those up really quick I keep thinking of things I want to show you when um, I'm doing them so I have a couple of these baskets that live on top of my freezer so let me show you real quick there's obviously one there and then the one that I am working on and this basket holds our freezer bags Tin foil, saran wrap. I usually have parchment paper, but I've been out. I love parchment paper. I really miss it. I also keep in here Sharpies because this is my my bag with um, freezer or my basket with freezer bags in it. So it makes sense to me to have all of that in here. I've also got some plastic silverware and a lighter for when I have candles, but. Um, yeah, so anyways, I'm just pulling out my two freezer bags that I need, and I'm going to go ahead and get everything done for these freezer mails. This is how I love to do freezer mails, really quick, on the fly, not a big, huge prep session, nice and easy. So I thought I'd show you my freezer, because um, I like to look in people's freezers and things, so I thought maybe you'd want to look in mine. Uh, this is my upstairs freezer. I have two freezers downstairs, two chest freezers. Um, so this is the one up here. 
only one of the freezers is in use in the basement, but I'd be using it more if we weren't moving, but we are, so. Um, I've got my homemade soups down here, and I've got, um, this is homemade sausage that I make, and I like to stick this in um, my egg scrambles. So these are these medicine ball things that I made. They're like a knockoff Starbucks thing and they've got turmeric and ginger and all kinds of good stuff in there to help you feel better and I have been drinking these. I add them to a pot of hot water, let this melt, and then steep it, the mixture with tea. I strain out all of the solids and um, I had a bit of an accident with one of those this morning. Jack got a hold of my teacup and spilled it all over the chair. Ruined his outfit, ruined the chair. Um, good thing we're getting rid of it. So, yeah, that's fun. Be careful if you do anything with turmeric, it stains like crazy. So this here is some um, rice cauliflower that I made, some sweet potatoes, but I actually need one of these. These are homemade refried beans, and they are so good, I've been craving these, so I'm gonna pull these out. Because these are going to be for our burrito bowls for tomorrow. We've got some fries and frozen fruit. All kind of stays in this area here. And up here is some frozen veggies. And over on this side, I've got homemade elderberry syrup. Um, and homemade pesto sauce. This is some orange juice that was left over from... We usually have orange juice on holidays. And we didn't finish the whole bottle because we're not really big juice drinkers, which is why we just have it for holidays. But I have some muffin recipes that call for orange juice, so I thought I'll save that and make muffins. Um, we've got ice packs and reusable ice cubes, our ice tray that has nothing in it, um, and then some ginger hiding right there. <laughs> so anyways, that's what my freezer looks like. We're going to try and eat through a lot of this. I'll take stuff to my in-laws as well so that um, we don't completely drain them <laughs> of all of their resources, but um, yeah, so that's that. Okay, so I'm cleaning up for the night, and one thing that I have done is I made this sink scrub, and this has citric acid, baking soda and then some essential oil in it and I just sprinkle it in my sink and then I use my dishcloth and I just wipe everything out. It gives it a good scrub. I don't do this every night but I do do it a couple times a week and I just keep it on this little um, pedestal here, this little cake plate. I kind of love how the colors all blend together like the green and the yellow and then I've got the green and the yellow on my lemon essential oil and I have a diffuser right there that I like to diffuse. Um, I keep this little pitcher right here because sometimes it's really hard to rinse out my sink, just even in general with the soap suds. I don't have like um, any sort of sprayer, so it only goes so far. So I like to use that little pitcher just to rinse out the sink. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean everything out and then um, call it quits finally. I did go ahead and use some of my Scentsy Counter Clean. This is in the scent Go Go Mango. It smells so good. The citric acid and the baking powder can leave sometimes a bit of a film, no matter how well you rinse, and I always dry it out with a towel. I find that this helps make the sink super duper shiny and nice. I use the citric acid when it needs a good clean. Um, this I use more often just for shining and making everything beautiful. This is wonderful for stainless steel. Uh, especially fridges like it just makes everything look brand new and it smells wonderful okay so I every night I fill up my water cup and I get Jack's bottles ready he has two at night um, one is already in the fridge I filled it up earlier so that is just part of my nightly routine is getting that all done I'm gonna go in the living room he has been playing I keep peeking at him um, and get him ready for bed so then this happened. My little lamp was sitting right here and I knocked it with this blanket. So I was walking through to be done with the night. I was literally just putting that blanket 
right there and going upstairs. And I knocked over this lamp that I love so much and glasses everywhere. So I'm just getting that cleaned up and then calling it a night. I am ready.